I'm Sarah Jenkins and welcome to Nina June Restaurant in Rockport, Maine, located on the most beautiful harbor in Maine. I'm here today in support of TasteMaine.com and the Restaurant Relief Fund that they've created. We'll be making a very simple, very classic Maine dessert, strawberry shortcake. All right, so step one of the recipe, we're gonna start by actually making the dough, right? The biscuit dough. I'm gonna start by sifting our flour, and this is just basic all-purpose flour. Add a little sugar and a little baking soda. Once we get everything mixed together nicely, a little bit of salt. I always believe in a little pinch of salt in dessert because if you don't have a little salt, your mouth goes for it and you miss it. Strawberry shortcake is a classic main dessert. So we've got all our flour all sifted up together, mixed with the baking powder and the salt and the sugar. And now we're folding the chilled grated butter into it. You can either cut the butter up into little pieces or you can grate it cold, nicely cold. You might want to stick it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Now we're adding a little buttermilk here. And we're just going to mix and bring it all together. This is a dough that you don't want to overwork. Overworking is the death of biscuits, right? We're not making bread. We shut down our restaurant in the spring when the governor shut, shut down business. We immediately pivoted and started doing takeout. And then after July, we actually made a shop we call the Dispensa. Dispensa is Italian for pantry or dispensary. And it's really in, in Italy, your dispensa is what gets you through the winter. Well, it's the same, it's the same as a traditional main cold cellar, right? You spend your summer months putting some stuff together, pickling and preserving, and now you've got a full cellar to get you through the winter. So we created a dispensa selling many of the products that we use in our restaurant, imported Italian olive oil, um, canned tomatoes. So I'm just pulling the dough together a little bit to really make it hold, right, and be something that we'll want to roll out or pat out. We want to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated, but we don't want to overwork it. I'm going to put this here and let it cool down, all right? So while the dough's chilling, I'm going to take this opportunity to get the strawberries ready. It's pretty simple. You're just going to cut the strawberries in half, or maybe if they're really big, you're going to quarter them. Now, we're going to kind of macerate the strawberries in the sugar and you're just gonna toss it with a fork and you're gonna sort of give it a little bit of a mush, right? So that it can start to set off its juices. I'm gonna make sure a couple are really nicely pulped and then the rest of it, I'm just gonna let it sit. So we're gonna start out here by, we're just gonna cut a couple biscuits, right? There's a really interesting technique here. I'm taking a little melted butter, my excess melted butter. I'm gonna butter up the pan. So you have one piece of biscuit, right? And you're gonna brush butter over it. And then you're gonna add your other biscuit, all right? I'm gonna add a little more butter over the top. I recommend with any kind of short crust or short pastry, the colder it goes into your oven, the better it's going to be. And I'm just sprinkling a little sugar over it to get it all nice and crunchy when it goes in the oven. Once you've punched out all your holes, you just push the dough back together. And so, as you can see, I'm just patting the dough out so that I can get myself two more circles. Okay, sticking the dough back on top again, brushing with butter, a little more sugar. All right, we're gonna bake it just like that. While you're baking your biscuits in a nice hot oven, they've come straight out of chilling in the fridge, we're gonna whip a little cream. And this is just, again, main whole heavy cream. And we beat it up with a little confectioner's sugar sometimes if you want things sweeter or a little drop of vanilla or you can put my favorite a little drop of brandy in there 
you're not going to get it too thick. You just want nice peaks like this, right? So right about there is where you want it. Now the biscuits are baked. You actually want the biscuits to cool down a little bit to room temperature. So I have them right over here already, okay? And they look great, right? And with that little technique of putting the butter in between the two thing, they're just gonna pull right apart, just like that. I like to start by soaking the biscuit with a little strawberry juice, right? And look at that. That's all just from lightly crushing the berries and sugar, the magic of time. Put a little bit of whipped cream down, and now we're gonna very generously drop strawberries on there. A little bit more whipped cream. And right there, that's pretty much your classic Maine strawberry shortcake, which we're making today for tastemaine.com. But if you wanted to gild the lily and take it just a little more over the top, you might put just a little more whipped cream on top, a little another drizzle of your strawberry, and then I like to give a little powdered sugar over the whole thing, just to make it extra fancy. So you can find this recipe at tastemain.com and I promise it's super simple, something even the kids could do. You can also donate to the Restaurant Relief Fund, something that we're all super appreciative of.